Ah, greetings, fellow Hoovians. Hoovie and Queen here. Hope you have a good week so far. We'll have a look at the 12th Doctor Error down to Tucson with the episode Sleep No More. The viewers is addressed by Gagan Ra Ra Rasmussen, a researcher aboard the Verrier Lab, a space station orbit around Neptune in the 30th century through a glitchful video transmission. The glitchful video transmitted across the solar system. Rasmussen warns the video warns the viewer not to watch the video, but says it's found footage will explain the events that have occurred. When communication with Laverrier is lost, a rescue ship is dispatched from Triton. Aboard Laverrier, the four soldiers, Nagata, Chopra, Deep Ando, and 474, discover the station empty save for the 12th Doctor and Clara, passing up as pa passing up as assessors. The group is chased by Sandman, humanoid forms composed of dust. They take safety in the lab filled large pods and discover Rasmussen. He explains he is the inventor of the pods, known as Morpheus, which are machines that send signals to the brains of the humans inside to compress a month's work of sleep into a few minutes. But, and the pods on the very air are more advanced than on Triton. The doctor suspects that Morpheus has transformed the rheum in the corner of the eye into a granivorous life form which digested the crew. The gravity shields are powered down before the doctor fixes them. During this, a salmon appears to consume Rasmussen. Chopra, Deep Bando, and 474 are also killed during their escape. The doctor silently monitors the salmon and realizes that Rasmussen is making them blind by hijacking the visual receptors in the realm and the Sandman in the eyes of anyone who has used Morpheus to collate video footage. They make their way to the ship where Rasmussen is alive, trapping them in a room with the Sandman. Rasmussen plans to use the ship to return to Triton and release Morpheus there with the Sandman which he says is now spread by spores. They got a shoot for us, Moosin. The Doctor engineers their escape and destroys the gravity shields, sending the station and the ship into Neptune. The Doctor comments that the inconsistencies in how Morpheus is spread along with the gravity shields being powered down seems to be contrived like a story. The Doctor, Clara, and Nagata escape in the TARDIS. Rasmussen reveals to the viewer that he is a Sandman, being pulled apart by Neptune's gravity. Rasmussen explains he wanted to ensure the video the viewer is watching was seen by others, as his glitches contain the Morpheus signal and will allow it to spread. Don don don. So now let's take a look at some continuity surrounding this episode. When debating with Clara about naming the creatures, the Doctor mutters, it's like the Silurians all over again, referring to an old adversary that first appeared in Doctor Who and the Silurians. According to writer Mark Gatiss, the Doctor's mention of the great catastrophe that befell humankind is referring to the collision between the Earth and Sun described in the Season 21 serial Frontios. And now, let's take a look at some outside references. The title is in reference to the Shakespeare play Macbeth, Sleep No More, Macbeth Does Murder Sleep, which the Doctor quotes during the episode. Clara asks if the Morpheus machine is actually named Morpheus, the God of Dreams. The Morpheus hologram also uses the term in the arms of Morpheus, a phrase meaning to be in a deep sleep. The Morpheus Machine theme song, Mr. Sandman, was celebrated by the group The Cordettes, among others, in 1954. Those like Trevor who refuse to compress their sleep even the Morpheus process are referred to as Rips, a reference to the short story Rip Van Winkle by Washington Irving. And now let's take a look at the production of this episode. The reverb for this episode took place on July 3rd, 2015, and filming took place from July 27th to August 12th, 2015. A new title screen dis a new title screen specially designed for this episode was shown instead of the usual opening sequence, the first such instance, the first such instance in the show's history. And now finally, let's take a look at some cast notes. Reese Shearsmith appeared in An Adventure in Time and Space as Patrick Troughton. Tom Milton appeared as Zygon in Zygon Invasion and Zygon Inversion. Bethany Black is the first openly transgen transgender actor to appear on Doctor Who. Woohoo! So overall, I think this episode is kind of interesting, and I really wish that the show had, like, more found footage episodes and stuff like that, like, especially, like, in, like, the fall, like, around Halloween time, because that can, because that stuff is pretty scary, so, yeah. <laughs> so overall, I give Sleep No More, four Sonic Screwdrivers out of five. Well, hope you enjoyed this review, and if you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up, share it around, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified about my upload videos. And if you want to help support the channel further, then be sure to check out my Patreon page. Link is always in the description below. Anyway, until next time, this is Hoovian Queen saying, Oh my Gideon! When I say run, run! 
and Professor Blair in the neutron flow. Would you look at Julie, baby? Fantastic. Allons y Geronimo! Bow ties are cool, fezzes are cool, and Stetsons are cool. <laughs>